was a little bit different. Uh, so I'll say negatives, negatives, negatives. Why are you so negative, man? I'm not negative. I'm just putting the negatives in. I'm a very positive individual compared to some, at least. Maybe depends. It's whatever. And it's let's let's run this again. Let's update it again. And then if I go if I go down, so now we're at the 1038. 1038 is pretty close. If I go all the way to the right, we're at December 23816. So 23816 uh, in December. Uh, okay, so so that's going to be our budget uh, summary report. If I wanted to take a look at the whole year, I could say 12 months in the period. And then let's say that we want to show one period of 12 months. And so now we've got our total, which comes out to 125,972. And I've got 125,965, 125,972. So it's off by uh, seven, which could be rounding. So I'm cool with that because it's just a budget. So so it shouldn't. So that's kind of immaterial. So I'm like, all right, that's good. And so let's say let's bring it back down to one period. And we'll bring it back to uh, 12 of those one periods. So there we have it. So now we've got this nice report that we can we can generate and we can, you know, kind of make our projections, we can provide it to a client and whatnot, that project out into the future. And then as time passes, what we want is that variance report. So now that we have this in here, let's go, let's go and make another tab, duplicate, and let's go into the accounting and reports again and look at the variance report. Uh, what is this? I went into the 1099 thing or something. It's not where I've, that's not where I want to be. That's not where I was trying to go, man. Uh, let's go to the ver the budget variance report. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's where we want to be. All right. So up here, then we've got our date range. So let's just take a look at the first two months because we have data, we have actual data in the first two months. So I could go from January 1 to February uh, 28. And then this is our one budget. So that's good and update it. And so there we have it. Now we have our options here, accrual cash, and we could show the accounting bases, codes, and decimals if we want. We probably don't. We probably don't need the decimals. We don't because we didn't put any pennies in there. So I'll just take the decimals off, and that can clean it up or make it a little bit smaller and, and easier possibly to see. All right. So this is the standard. So now we actually have numbers. So now we are imagining that time has passed, and the actual numbers have come through for January. So. Uh, so we have the actual numbers and then the budget numbers and the variance, which is, of course, is the difference. So if we pull out the trusty calculator to do some trusty calculations, uh, we can say, obviously, if I took the total down here, we've got the actual 69211 minus the budget 73192. So so the 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 actual is less than the budget. And then we've got the difference. Uh, which is the variance, which is going to be, that's calculated by taking the, the variance over the budget amount. So divided by the budget, 73192, moving the decimal two places over about 5%. And so, so there we have it. And then we have February, same thing. So we've got, we've got uh, the actual, the budget, the variance, and the variance uh, percentage. And then we could, we do have our editing layout. Uh, so we could uh, enable add notes so we can insert content and add notes to it. We could edit the layout and we have that capacity to do our, our editing over here as we choose as well. So we might have a report like this, for example, and we might add a column that would sum up, you know, the total. So you still have that flexibility that zero has with with making more flexible reports because of that that great editing tool uh, that it has here so let's go back on over now obviously if we went out into the future beyond this we wouldn't have any data left so if i pull this all the way out 
uh, to December, for example, we have the budgeted information all the way out through December, but we don't have actual data out past February. Uh, so it's, it's actually not even going to generate it because we don't have any actual data for the actual numbers out past that point. So, uh, so obviously the variance report is useful when we're comparing when time has passed. We've predicted what's going to happen. We put a budget in place and then time has actually passed and we can make that comparison from uh, the budget versus the actual. Now down here, you, you have a similar uh, kind of thing on the expenses, just to, just to look at the expense side of things. These are, uh, you know, here's, here's the budgeted amount for the bank service charge. Uh, this is the actual, this was the budget, and here's gonna be uh, the change and the variance, and they give you these nice little arrows to say if we're over or under. So in this case, we're under budget. And if we look, if we looked at this, we could say this is what actually happened: thirty-five minus what was budgeted, two one six, a difference of one uh, one eighty one under budget. And I can divide that by the budget amount two one six. Moving the decimal two places over, that gives us our eighty-four. If I multiply times hundred, it's going to give us about eighty-four uh, percent. And we can see that all the way down here. And then uh, we have, of course, our totals. And again, we've got the editing of the, of the layout. We can customize these and we could, of course, export these files to the PDF to Excel if we want to further uh, adjust them with Excel. So the overall process of the budget, we generally are going to say the accounting department isn't normally responsible for the budget alone uh, because they need added information from the management or the owner of the business, but if but they were going to be included in the budgeting process because obviously it looks like an income statement and a balance sheet, and we're experienced in making the income statement and the balance sheet from a technical perspective. The way I would recommend doing that is taking the information from zero, downloading it to Excel, and then working with your team of the owner of the business, management, and the accountant in order to make a budget that we can then put back into the system zero data inputting it into zero from excel possibly with a template and importing it or possibly just data inputting it so that zero can then run these nice reports one of the best ones being of course this budget versus actual report that we could run as time passes to benchmark how we're doing compared to how we planned that we would be doing